Previously on Lady Nadra. Tom Ford has Black Liqueur coming out September 2nd. Creed has Centaurus, which smells lovely. This is my new camera. Stick it right in there and pop this in your pocket, in your purse, in, your, in my fanny pack. It fits everywhere. Tell me like you wouldn't think these were designer made. I'm Lady Nadra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are, you know, have been rocking with me. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> for those of you who are new, I, I am a lifestyle beauty vlogger that <laughs> loves all things aesthetically pleasing. I love to see it, taste it, smell it, feel it, you know, hear it, all the things. I'm, I'm just the true estate <laughs> i love the aesthetics of life i'm also um a pastor's wife and you know in the church world they refer to you as lady nadra so that's kind of where that comes from but i'm a retired hairstylist um i'm a caregiver for my mom i'm a, a bonus mom i'm i have uh, my daughter and my granddaughter live here with me and my and my husband of course and we are you know just the regular family we love god over here we we definitely represent that lifestyle <laughs> i'm actually on my way to church so i gotta hurry up and do this intro real quick so that i can get out of here i generally start my vlogs on sundays because this is when i put on a little makeup <laughs> the rest of the week i probably won't have any makeup on so let me tell you what i got on my face i have um, I, and I typically wear the same face. I change up the change up the lip, and of course, like today, I have on this hat from Nordstrom. And I'm a ball baddie, but <laughs> let me tell you who the hat is from. The hat is from Brixton, and it's very much so large head friendly. Hats don't generally come all the way down like this on me. Um, it probably would be too big for most <laughs> i'll be honest because i have a big head so um if this is something that you're interested in maybe they have different sizes i'm not sure i didn't see a size when i looked in it but they may have different sizes most um at least luxury hat designers do have different sizes but my face that's what we were talking about I have on Makeup by Mario's concealer in the shade 540 under my eye and then I go all, all over my face with Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm in the shade number 9. And then I take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I set everything with that under my eye. I do use Laura Mercier's uh, setting powder in the color Deep. And then I warm my cheeks up with Fenty's um, thick mint bronzer. I also go over the top of my eyes with that same bronzer. Today I did fill in my brows a little bit with the with the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette and I went under my eyebrows. I kind of highlighted under my eyebrows with uh, Makeup by Mario's Concealer in the shade 460. Um, I have on Lily, Lily Lashes. The These are the glueless um, lashes and I'm not sure of the style, but I'm enjoying the lash. Actually, you know, the, there's no glue application, so that's great. You can get up to four or five wears out of them. I guess it depends on, you know, whether you're someone who sweats a lot or cries a lot. Like, I typically wear lashes to church, so there's that. <laughs> um, my lip is uh, Lazy Coral. Lovely Coral or Lazy Coral? I'll put that on the screen, but... It's by Makeup by Mario, and I line my lips with chestnut. Um, on my cheeks, if you see a little shimmer, that is uh, Becca's Tiger Lily Blush. That is in my Amazon storefront because I don't think 
it is I know it's not in Sephora anymore but I found it on Amazon so cuffs. the top cuff the silver one is from commence official and it's a set so you do get two of them then this next cuff I have on the white one the little pearl doohickey is from Amazon and I you can't see this one really but this comes in a set so this is not a set a packet it's a whole bunch of them and this one is a part of the collection as well it's a bunch of different little cuffs and i've probably lost most of them but i did buy the the set for this one so i tend to keep up with these two and then these earrings are also from amazon and of course they have the the little keloid <laughs> back on there my necklace i'm wearing also is, is from amazon it's an hermes dupe and i'll show you my outfit okay my outfit of the day is this kimono my girlfriend gave this to me so I'm, i can't really tell you where it came from but the dress is just a simple slip dress from anthropology i got this last summer i believe so they have definitely have similars but they may not have this particular print but i like the print you know animal prints can tend to be um, neutrals, so it went well. It goes well with a lot, actually, to be honest. Get you something leopard or this kind of print. These shoes, they're by Steve Madden, and again, a neutral color, even though there's a pop of color on the heel, they're neutrals, so I find myself able to wear these shoes a lot. My arm candy for the day, I have on my Fendi set here. This is, it's not actually a set. This is a bracelet and the watch. And then this bracelet is from Amazon and it came with this bracelet. These are, all, my whole arm stack is, my right arm stack is from Amazon. These are David Yerman dupes and they're, Standing the test of time, y'all. My sunnies for today are these Amazon. I mean, these are a vibe. Look at them, y'all. Look, this is, it's doing something all by itself. Like I got the hat on and the outfit and all that kind of stuff. But if I just had on a t-shirt and some jeans, these, these shades would be saying something, right? Cute. <laughs> feeling myself okay so today's fragrance is Lakeeds Imaginaires Dom Rosa and it is the Melissa May uh, version there's a, a regular version and then the Melissa May so that's what mine is and I got I got it on Amazon but of course you can find it at Neiman Marcus if you're not comfortable with buying fragrances from Amazon mine is it's fine. <laughs> I don't have any problems with it. And anything that I said that I got on Amazon is in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in the description box. So feel free to go in there, browse around and see what you see. And I mean, help me out, girl, help me out. Oh, my rings, I'm sorry, David Yerman, Amazon, Dylan Lex. All right, I'm actually out of here, gotta go. I'll see you guys a little bit later. In each life zone. Give yourself a high five. Now, let's think about what else you would like to grow. If you are still deciding, here are some prompts to get your wheels turning. In chapter two, we learned that the seed-soil relationship is a scripture-wide narrative. A hey guys, it's Tuesday. No, yeah, it is Tuesday. <laughs> I just came into Bath and Body Works and we upped on a few wallflowers and some room sprays. Today it's 10 off 30. I got a coupon on my app for 10 off 30. So, and it's five um, wallflowers for 27. It's hot. Like It's like the kind of almost like smoldering hot. Did I say I was on my phone recording? My camera is in my backpack, but I thought it might be easier just to pop on here and say hey to y'all. Okay, 
wanted no blaze. Mark wanted blaze, but I've never had Luna Grill, so I got the gyro and chicken plate, which is 80% 80, 80 beef and 20% lamb is what gyro is. So we'll see. <laughs> it's low in calories, so we'll see what it say, y'all. ring from the Essence collection and then I got the little they're just um, single rings. I was looking at the stackable ones. I saw where they they came like two rings of stackables um, but I wanted of course mixed metals you, go, you know I'm a mixed metals person. She ended up showing me a ring that has um, one ring that's silver and one is gold so definitely I wonder if I should take my David Yerman ring in there and let them clean it since it's just the one ring they said they'll clean it for me right now so I'm glad about that oh they got some pretty stuff in here really? so that was super quick my ring is nice and clean it's um, literally took like five minutes, three, three minutes. Nordstrom has their fall stuff. They're putting fall stuff out. Oh, look at these, these are cute. Black as well. Steve Madden. Ooh, Jeffrey Campbell. This is like a chocolate, I think. And then here's black. Then we have um, the slingback version. Also have a red burgundy Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I like Bordeaux better than Burgundy, which is definitely the um, oh boy fire. Morgan just sprayed uh, vanilla sex on me from Tom Ford. I like it. She said she didn't like it. She said it smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> like her descriptors are, they kill me every time. And she said it smells like Play-Doh and I can smell Play-Doh in it when, when she said that. I can smell Play-Doh, but it's something else that makes it smell good. You know what I mean? It's not, um, it's not clay-y like that clay smell that Play-Doh has. It doesn't have that in there. Exaggerating. This girl just walked by me with a aloe bag and I was thinking about going over to, um, going over to Fashion Island from here so I could stop by aloe. Cause I like their, their active wear. Um, and the accessories and stuff like that. So I thought about going over there, but if there's one at this mall that I just don't know about, I'm looking for a directory. Hmm, let me see if I can find one.
what's going on in there and they have some of their newer things in. Mm -hmm. It's just not, not hitting like, you know, Zara can hit. But I have been noticing that they go through that periodically. I either, it's either on or off for me. They have a lot of vest, but I think because my boobs, the vest doesn't lay flat on me, so it doesn't look good. Maybe, maybe a longer line vest might work, but um, like I would like to find a Banana Republic because their trousers. I want some. I want a pair of black, you know, loose trousers. I saw one in a pair in Open Edit um, in Nordstrom. Buy Open Edit in Nordstrom, but they were a little heavy. So I think if I tried, I thought it was it was a Banana Republic in here, but they don't have one. Maybe Cos might have a pair. Um, but I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go pay my bill in Bloomingdale's and head over to Fashion Island real quick so I can go to Aloe and then head home. That last little purse in Tory Burch, that little silver one, that was cute. I um, I gotta carry the bags I got. <laughs> so I won't be purchasing bags. I'm, I'm really, on a quest to purposefully use the stuff that I have. Um, you know, we just buy stuff and buy stuff and then forget what we already have. It gets pushed to the back. Woo, I'm sweating, it's hot. My car is saying that I need air. And my front two tires, I just checked them and they look fine. Once I get home, I'll have Mark check that out. That's his department. <laughs> <laughs> not mine not mine I didn't tell y'all <laughs> right before I got ready to leave the house um, thank God Mark was there <clears throat> I'm so grateful the Lord knows how to how to you know do things he does all things well um, but I heard the door doorbell ring and I looked on my ring camera upstairs and I saw that there was a Hispanic man at the door um i mean he wasn't a big man so if i had to take him i probably could have <laughs> but uh i wouldn't have wanted to but y'all so i looked on the camera and mark was downstairs and he was like are you expecting someone you know he said that loud through the house and so on the camera i saw i said no but on the camera i saw the man um, when he heard Mark's voice through the door, he started reaching, he like repositioned and he started reaching for the actual door and, and trying to open the front door. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I said, Mark, he's trying to open the door. He said, I know I'm standing here. And then Mark just yanked the door open. He said, what are you doing here? And the man was like, oh, oh no, oh no. I saw his hands go up. And Mark said, he was like, oh no, I have the wrong, wrong house. What number is this? He said, it's the wrong house. It's the wrong house. Don't do, don't ever come up to my door opening the door. He, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, sir, you was about to get in trouble. What if we had a gun? Hey, y'all. So, I walked in my bathroom and I just have a lot of stuff out here. Um, Dang, I wonder if I can hook up my battery hold please let me see if I can hook that up not my battery my microphone okay I had to charge the battery so hopefully you guys can hear me I think you can so the other week when I went to sisters we are built for this they put a few things in our back bags the speakers bags I guess everybody's bags I'm not sure if we got some extra stuff but I was happy to see this cream de corpse from Kiehl's, this hand cream, or I think it's a hand cream, but that's what I use it for. It's so, so good. Sometimes I even put it on my feet. But I like to have this in my bag, so I was happy to see this. Then this beautiful lotion. Now, 
this has sentimental value for me because my godmom Lolita had two godmoms and Lolita she wore beautiful and oh my gosh this so reminds me of her I think they've kind of changed the formula from when she used to wear it but it still smells good <laughs> I even put some on my mom when she had her shower actually she has a shower tomorrow so I'm gonna take this and put it on her then I told you guys I went to Sephora I was looking for the limitless brown pencil and I messed around and got one limitless brown but the one that I opened last week and I said it was the wrong color is the um, endless cacao wrong color definitely so I'm gonna see if I can take this one back uh, they'll let me exchange it for the limitless brown but if you guys could see the color difference because this limitless limitless brown I was saying that it had more red in it and it's like a good brown brownie red I think I'm gonna enjoy this pencil I saw it um, Nas she wore it on her channel and so I thought it was a good good liner to put with all those last week I showed you guys a bunch of um, orange kind of or mm, creamy orange colors like this one is my favorite this is the baby coral from makeup by Mario let me see I'm gonna spill it y'all see that this is a good one. I get complimented like heavily <laughs> with this baby coral. They're like, what? I was asked um, Sunday when I had it on, I was asked at least four times what color was my lipstick. So I could wear that limitless brown with that one. Also, this um, faux filler from Huda Beauty in what is this color? I don't know but it's also a good one I'll put it on the screen which which one this is it's just not as pigmented as the makeup by Mario it's um much more transparent it's buildable but it's I would still say it's still more of a transparent color Okay, so in last week's vlog, I showed you guys that I picked up this one size setting spray and it's definitely a mattifying setting spray. I wore it on Sunday. I put it um, on top of my makeup the first time I wore it, which was last week. But then this time when I put it on, I put it underneath my makeup just to give it a, as a base. I use this more as a base because it's mattifying, you know, and so I like, I don't like my makeup matte like that morgan used it on top of her makeup and it took her shine down i like the finish of the my old faithful airbrush flawless setting spray by charlotte tilbury this is the one that i like best you know the finish of it now morgan got a bunch of stuff um gratis from tom ford you know i love that <laughs> It wasn't fragrance, but I think she's getting something fragrance, and I think I might be able to get the Portofino Neroli or Neroli Portofino. That's like the blue bottle, and I like the fragrance for, um, you know, a summertime fragrance. It's not too heavy. I'm not buying any more sub summertime fragrances, but if she brings that home, that'll be good. Um, I put this on. These are, she brought three of these home, and... So they use these as samples and the dark colors in that location don't tend to get sampled. So that's how we got these. Um, we got the color Dusk Macassar and Warm Nutmeg. I'm not sure which one I put on one of them the other day on my arm and it was perfect um, as a skin tint. You know, just something to... I want to say it was, let's see, let me, let's go from darkest to lightest. I'll try the warm nutmeg on first and let's put that right here. 
And I think this was the one that I tried on the other day on my arm and it was beautiful. It has a little iridescence to it, a little shine. It was perfect. The one I tried on the other day, and I think it's this one for me. Um, so I'm not sure how it's translating on camera, but in person, it's doing the doggone thing. Let's see. I think these other ones might be getting lighter, but the finish of them are good. Now, Tom Ford stuff is expensive. Oh, this one ain't even open yet. Okay, so that first one I put on was Warm Nutmeg, and this one is the Macassar. And let's see what it's doing. Hmm. It looks pretty good, too. Just maybe a little bit. No, it doesn't look bad. They look pretty similar, if I'm honest. And I know the inside of my arm is going to be lighter. So I'm going to stay on this side. And this one is the color um, Dusk. So... And again, these are skin tints. So if you don't need like a full coverage situation, my arm looks the same with all the <laughs> all of these. It looks the same. And I'm under the light too, so I don't see a difference in any of the three of these. Mm. So I guess I'll be able to wear them all. Morgan says she wears skin tint on her face. She doesn't really put foundation on. She just puts a skin tint on top of her. Um, she'll put concealer on and then a skin tint. So I haven't tried that yet, but um, I think I will, you know, just to see. Because, again, I don't like a lot of, I use that Danessa Myricks um, Blurring Balm, and I really, really like it because it's, it's nice and light, and it does blur. And I get the feeling that these will too, but it doesn't feel like foundation on my face. And it's not, you know, full coverage or anything like that. She also gave me um, a few samples. I got the sample of the Lost Cherry, Tobacco Vani, and Vanilla Sex, and Vani Fatale. So, she keeps me laced with these little samples. <laughs> Lastly... Today, when I was in the mall, I did pick up, um, I went to Pandora, and I went specifically after this ring. All the girlies had them uh, when they went to Janae's event, and I thought this ring was so cute. I mean, the heart, I loved it. And then when you spend, it was 125, and when you spend, um, 125 you get a free bracelet i gave the bracelet to morgan then i got this mixed metals ring super cute um they were showing these other ones i think pockets and bowls she was showing mixed metal stack she got the gold and the silver and just put them together but this came in the mixed metals and they're attached so when you take them off, they're connected, you know, and they stack into each other. So I thought these, this was this was good enough, you know, and it wasn't buying two different rings to make this look. So that's real. That's really all I got. I'm getting ready to take a shower and get myself. On the bed, I have um, some work to do. We have our book club starting this week, and I had some questions that I wanted to ask the ladies, and I'm, I'm doing the workbook right now, so my questions will probably be out of the workbook, but they asked me to list, um, we're reading The Garden Within, I think I shared that last week, 
and they ask me to list um, some common emotions, you know, like fear, anxiety, happiness, sadness. Um, I think I listed a whole bunch more, but then they want us to get a song that reminds us of the actual emotion or the mood of the song at, you know, reminds us of the emotion. And then they want us to see what kind of playlist, <laughs> you know, that makes, that makes up. So I started off doing that. And when I got to sadness, the song that I thought of that seems like it's heavy. I'm not sure about the lyrics, but the, the song is um, A Song for You by Donny Hathaway. Hathaway. Whew. That song is heavy to me, like uh, the the chords and the music. Um, and then maybe just because I know his story as a schizophrenic, you know, it seems like it, that song encompasses his, his state of mind. You know, that's what it seems like it encompasses. So, um, I put that down for for sadness. I think for anxiety, I put um, down India Irie song. Um, I think it's get it get it together. Um, what are the lyrics? Um, One shot to your heart without breaking your skin. No one has the power to hurt you like your kin. You kept it inside, didn't tell no one else. You didn't even want to admit it to yourself. And now your chest burns and your back aches from 15 years of holding the pain. And you'll never be happy. No, and you only have yourself to blame if you continue to feel this way. Get it together. Heal your body. Get it together to heal your soul. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. uh, dang it. But that song to me, when I hear it, <laughs> I'm like, oh man, the, the anxiety that builds up when you hold things in and you only have yourself to blame and your chest burns and your back aches and you know, all the th the way it resonates in your body. Yeah. So that came up for um, anxiety. Then, like I said, sadness was, um, I'm here on it. I'm singing this song to you. Uh, Donnie Hathaway. I love you. I don't even know where well, there's no space or time. That one. I love you. I sing a lot of songs made to mad rhymes. That one. That one. Yeah. But when you listen to it, it just feels so weighty and heavy and dark and um, confused, you know. And of course, for um, happy, I think it was uh, happy feelings in the air, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Hey. Hey. That was hey. That feels good. Happy feel. guilt. There's this song um, by Jay Moss. If you guys are familiar with it, it's definitely a um, a Christian record, you know. Um, but Jay Moss is. Whenever I feel guilt or repentance you know it's like uh forgive me oh lord it's me again forgive me oh lord it's me again i've disobeyed your word i've slipped out of your will Regretful I stand 
It's me again. Yeah, that one. I just be like, forgive me, oh Lord. <laughs> it's me again. Here I am again. Wow. I mean, and the Lord will just keep forgiving us. That's just incredible to me. Yeah. So anyway, I'll end this night <laughs> with that little worship. I'm going to go take my shower, get in the bed, and finish my exercise. Here to sit with mama as she's eating and i have to walk away because she's putting her ice cream mixing ice cream with uh beans <laughs> i'm like yuck hey carol there's a new lady up here her name is and she said she's five seven she told me she was five seven and she used to be a hairstylist so look at this the welcome wagon <laughs> so mama's got a, she got a friend um they were walking and she liked my mom's blouse and so I told her I said well she doesn't talk very much but I'm sure she appreciates the compliment and she says I understand <laughs> and so I went in there I was uh, listening to the the guy that was playing the guitar I was listening to the music and um, I turned around and she was walking with mama she was holding mama's hand and mama was walking much faster than she was I'm like mom slow down so she can keep up with you <laughs> when I came out, they said, oh, no, she was an avid walker. She doesn't look too steady on her feet. That was what it was concerning me with her, um, you know, trying to keep up with mama. But they said she was an avid walker and a um, yoga instructor and all the things. So hmm, maybe that's why she took to mama because she was actually doing something that, you know, was familiar to her. And um, when I came in, she looked at me and she says, um, she said, you look nice and strong. <laughs> I said, well, thank you. And she asked me how tall I was. And she told me she was 5'7". <laughs> it was pretty cool. So I think she's only been there a couple days. So <sighs> we'll see. Oh, she's very active in her church. So we sang together. I sang... Um, amazing grace and she was singing along with me she was not able to keep up with the words you know but she kept trying so every time i see her i'll just sing amazing grace and maybe she'll grab a hold of it so i told you guys <clears throat> or maybe if you watch if you've been watching for a while my mom has um she's always been fine <laughs> fine like coke bottle shape all the things always butt and hips and <laughs> over the last I would say not quite a year but mm, maybe eight months or so she's lost weight and um, she weighs like 158 I think um, is what they weighed her in at over the last four or five months, it's been like 158. That's the lowest. Usually, I think she would sit somewhere closer to 200 or maybe since she's been sick, like 180 something, 185 or something like that. So, um, she definitely lost weight. She walks a lot. She's still eating her food really good. I talked to her doctor and they told me to take, give her some, um, like a, a supplement like insure or something like that so i've been buying the premier uh shakes and taking up
taking them up there to her. And um, Anna told me today, the caregiver, the med tech, she told me today that she gives her one every morning and um, she drinks the whole thing and eats her food. So I just went to Target, picked up some more because they told me she was out. And um, um, let's see if we can get some of these hips and stuff back. <laughs> What she is, is strong. <laughs> you know, like I normally walk with her and sometimes I'm trying to get her to go in the other direction. And if she doesn't want to go, she's going to pull me in the direction that she wants me to go in. And it ain't no, no weak push, pull. You know? <laughs> she, she's definitely, you know, got some strength. I had to redo the base because I looked in the refrigerator for, I never buy whole milk. My granddaughter does though, she buys, like she must like it for cereal or something like that. And I looked at the date and it said um, August 2024. So I just grabbed it and poured some in here to kind of thin the, the base a little bit. And the milk was curdled. <laughs> so I had to open up. Luckily, I had more cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup and also some more bell peppers to put in here, but I guess I'll thin it with a little bit of water. So it's a little bit dry. I don't know if it's going to let me show you. So I just mixed up a little bit more soup. I, have one, I found one more can of the um, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken mix with a small can. But it should help. I sauteed some bell peppers, the mixed bell peppers. I think it's red and yellow. Might be green here, I'm not sure. I know it's red and yellow. And then, so I did half <laughs> olive oil and half, I can't believe it's not butter. Sorry. And I added the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom to the, the um, bell pepper and butter and Avocado oil mix. <laughs> I uh, put that in there. I thinned it out a little bit, make it creamy, and uh, put some water in there. I told you guys the I messed up the other batch of soup that I made because the milk was bad. And then I just seasoned it with a little Lowry seasoning salt and garlic salt. That's it. I guess you could use black pepper and stuff like that if you want. But I did not. 
And then I use the rotisserie chicken, the one that's already done at the at the grocery store. I use two of those for that pot. You guys saw the pot size for that pot. I um, broke it apart and then just cut it up just to kind of make sure that I had enough. I hate spaghetti and noodly stuff without the meat, you know. So that's why I use two. And the spaghetti noodles. I think that's it. Chicken spaghetti. So I got a request from one of you guys to show you what I'm doing for my hair. <laughs> she said my hair is looking shiny and uh, silky and shiny. So um, I don't know if that's something that I'm doing or if it's just old age and my hair is changing. My hair is definitely changing. The texture has absolutely changed. I'm trying to remember if my mom's did that too. It's it's thinning and changing. I don't know if it's if it's you know something that's due to like I said age or if it's from all that bleaching and stuff like that, that it thinned out. I think it was thinning before I bleached it, if I'm, if I'm honest. And I think that's why I got braids. I kept it braided for a little while and then I let it grow. And then <laughs> I put some color on it and it fell out. And that's why, that's how I got platinum in the first place is because once it um, fell out, I just cut it off. And I always wanted to do that platinum look or, or I always, admired the platinum so thought that was as good as time as ever but so I washed my hair in the shower and um, before it dries I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hair <laughs> my products you guys are gonna laugh when I show you my products so the one thing that I do use right now and that's for it to grow grow is the botana oil and this one is um the miracle oil it's by organic it's in my amazon storefront if you want to check it out but i take about that much while my hair is wet and um i apply it Oops. Now it does have a little color to it and I messed up my, can you guys see that color? I messed up my pillowcase the other, other day. I have white sheets on my bed <laughs> and um, I forgot that this grease has a little color to it. So I massage this into my hair while it's wet. Like I said, um, my back and sides kind of grow and I tend to cut them down. So I'm, I'm concentrating more on this top part than I am anywhere else. And I'm actually massaging it into my scalp as well. And then for my hair, some good old Vaseline. I won't put this one in, I'll put the other, just the plain Vaseline. Not much, just like that much. Same thing. Rub it in. Make sure you're all saturated. And then I take my, this is just regular cold pressed castor oil. If I, if you guys saw my essentials video, I showed you that I use, what I use castor oil from for. And I just take one dropper full and do the same thing. Again, I concentrate towards the top and my edges. These my little spots that need um, a little extra TLC. I got a, a spot back here that's trying to fill in, but it's still thin, y'all. Still little little hair in there. 
So I make sure I get that part and then um, take some and put it on my, my brows as well. So this is what I do when I wash my hair and I wash my hair like two, three times a week, especially since I'm um, walking and sweating and stuff and I'm wearing a lot of hats and scarves and things like that. So and I take my brush and brush it down. If I'm not gonna add any gel tonight, but if I added any gel or anything to it, like tonight what I'll do is I'll put a scarf on and lay this down and it will mold just with with this grease and oil in it it will mold down and be really really wavy and that may be what you guys saw or um it was tab d that asked me to do this and that may be what she saw in my hair um i don't have any relaxer on my hair or anything like that but it's still some of that bleached hair you know, that is definitely over-processed on there. So that may be the straight parts that you see, but like I said, my texture is changing. So it's getting kind of curly for some reason. I'm seeing curls, but if you guys are looking to see what <laughs> gel, guess what I'm using? Old school and pro, pro style. For some reason, this used to grow my hair back in the day. So I would just take a generous amount and rub it over my hair and then tie it down. And um, I really don't have to tie it down for it to mold, but like see how, see how it's curly and stuff right up here? These little curls are popping up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, that will tend to happen if I don't put a scarf on so I'm definitely gonna put a scarf on tonight um, I may just let it air dry a little bit before I put my scarf on and then put a scarf on before I lay on my pillow that's what I'm gonna do just because I want the grease the oil and everything to soak into my my hair instead of rubbing off on that scarf. So yeah, that's what I do. That's it, that's all. And if what you saw plus and pro pro style and gel. Sometimes I use the clear ice. When my hair was blonde, I definitely used the clear ice, which is pretty much the same thing. I have in here this eco style of gel, but they changed the the formula for that so Morgan pretty much uses that more than me but yeah that's it that's it I just put some brown sugar babe oil on my body and this is in the uh, fragrance caked up I don't know what fragrance I'm gonna put on oh that's something I'm gonna put this vanilla skin on See, I'm an oversprayer. <laughs> I know, you guys. Just pray for me. Hey, I gotta use the perfume I got. So, put a little on my heels. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that's for, huh? A little behind my knees. And um, I'm going to do my skincare routine, which tonight, oh, so I wash my face with my Youth to the People um, Kale and Spinach face wash. And then I use my Kiehl's exfoliator. <laughs> I use this, the Kiehl's exfoliator and I did that because it has the seashells in it. And... Um, my skin, my face has been developing what's called milia, and milia is like a bunch of skin, like small, real tiny skin particles that form on the skin, and it kind of looks almost like a pimple, but it's not a pimple. It's um, 
because it's not in a pore. It's just skin that kind of develops on top of the skin. And I guess my skin kind of gets thick. This is another exfoliator, which I probably shouldn't shouldn't um, over exfoliate, but this is the liquid exfoliator plus toner. And um, so I have Amelia that formed here. This one is very, very old and I picked at it and picked at it and picked at it trying to treat it like a pimple and that didn't work. So it's just like a, a permanent scar up there. But I noticed I was getting more around there and I would just take my little pin, my like needle point tweezers <laughs> and stick a hole in it and then dig the stuff out. But I don't need to be doing my skin like that. So the best way to keep them from coming is to make sure that I'm exfoliating and I don't do that often, but that, that uh, Kiehl's seashell exfoliator it can be rough if you have sensitive skin i don't so i'm using it and um yeah because like leave me alone <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> these little it's like little white it's like white spots like you have little white heads in your face and you know, if it's a white head, it'll go away, but the milia don't necessarily go away unless you do all that stuff. So this is the Go Pure Neck Cream. Um, I can't really say that I'm seeing a whole lot of difference in my neck. And I've been using this for a couple weeks now. I'm trying to be very, very diligent in using it, but all the testimonies say that, you know, by now I would have seen such a big difference. I don't see no difference. <laughs> but I'm going to use what I got. I'm going to just keep using it. Oh, let me put my serum on. And I think I'm just at the end of this one. And I feel like I had another, like a backup. But, use the rest of this. I hate the way it looks. And press that into my skin. That is the um, Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. Let me see if I'm saying the name right. Vino Perfect Serum. Um, ooh. Yeah, Vino Perfect Serum. It's a few more words on there that I don't know how to say. French. But that's by Caudalie. And again, this is how it looks. Okay. And then I'm going to put on my Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate Plus Glow Dream Mask. This, I mean, super moisturizing in the morning. I'm going to be um, still going to be moisturized. It goes, goes into your skin well, absorbs well. Last but not least, my Believe True Cream Aqua Bomb. <sighs> Y'all know I ride for this stuff. It's so, it just feels so good. The squalene and everything, that, that's the ingredient, squalene. Good stuff. All right, that's it for my face. Put a little lip action. My Laneige, I have it in mango as well as, I think this is a uh, gummy bear. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my eye cream. I'm gonna put the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. 
it's really thick. So you don't need much of this at all. It's probably going to be too much too. Let's take that and pat that in. Okay, so all that patted in so that it was a, it will absorb into your skin. All right. Say hi to Morgan. Is the camera? Mm-hmm. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> uh, muy bien. A good, good skincare. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Everything. All the things. What you got? Smell this. If you can still smell it on here. Faintly. Oh my God, it smells so good when I first What was it? it? It was a Chanel, like a boutique exclusive Chanel. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. You yeah. don't know the name of it? They said it. It was something. Mm -hmm. But everybody was walking around spraying it like, oh my God. Really? Yeah. It's new? Um, I don't know if it's new, but it's like in the drawer with all the like big Chanel decanters. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't put it out, I guess. Oh, okay. Cause it's really expensive, but oh my gosh, it smells so good. Find out the name of it so I can try that when I go. Okay. <laughs> you know I need to know. Put a little bit more fragrance on. Don't worry, this is not expensive. <laughs> But when I do all this, when I move my arms across my face, I want to smell a fragrance. All right, y'all. Good night. I'm using my mic for my DJI uh, camera. This is the mic that came with the creator kit. I'm trying to see how the sound is on here. And I also wanted to tell you guys real quick that to the vanilla skin, I added vanilla sex from Tom, Moore, Tom Ford. Tom Moore. Tom Ford, Morgan, you know, brought me some samples, so I thought I'd put this on and see how it works overnight. You know, give it the overnight test, honey. So I may as well go put the rest of this, like what I'm keeping that for, you know? Put it on. Oh, you want to roll with a good girl? Do a beat, do it all for a good girl. One time, this is a song for the good girl. Don't sleep when you know you got a good girl. One time, this is a song for the good girl. Wanna roll, wanna roll with a good girl. One time, this is a song Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't have any of this sugar. <laughs> this is what I got. I got the Cinnabits. Make sure I don't have that all over my face. If I do, forgive me. I'm at Fashion Island. Came to go to Aloe, and I wanted to see if they have a Banana Republic here. I think I was, am I? This thing has microphones on it, and I don't want to cover the microphones. I should have put my clip mic on, but. Ooh, just get a napkin, right? So I wanted a white blazer. And this one is cool. I love where it hits me on my hands. I love the, so it kind of can go into fall because I think it's too heavy for summertime. But like, you know, if I just want to throw it on over a bodysuit or a um, cat suit or something like that, I think it's so cute. I love this blazer. And then I can also scrunch up the sleeves and make it, um, it's not super oversized, but it's oversized enough. I like it. So this one is just okay. Um, not for the price. I don't like the way it fits me. It would look cute on somebody else, but I don't like the way it really fits me uh, per se. I would definitely opt for this one in a darker color, which they have black and like that that butter yellow, but. Not so much on me. I do like that the shorts have pockets. The shorts underneath the skirt, they have pockets, so that's cool. But, mm. Okay, so I was looking for some black trousers. I like these, but they are like um, a nylon, so more of a casual vibe. But then they also give 
chic, you know, with the wide pant leg and then the hidden zipper, I mean, hidden button in the front. I love that detail and that they have elastic in the back in the waist. They also have belt loops. Yes. I shouldn't have eaten the pretzels and had lemonade. I had a raspberry lemonade. It was so tasty, but at first, you know, with all the ice and stuff in it, then it kind of got syrupy. I threw it away, but <clears throat> I think I had too much of it because now I have acid reflux. <laughs> so now I'm gonna even feel like walking around looking for the Banana Republic, but I forgot. I have to come back here tomorrow. I have an event. I think it's at 12. I think it's at 12 at Neiman Marcus that um, I was invited to. So I will look for Banana Republic tomorrow, but today I'm done. I'm not sure if you guys caught the knock on the door when I was in the dressing room in Aloe. This lady thought, I guess she thought she was in you know my dressing room but she came in looking for her glasses so the, the sales associate knocked on the door and asked was there you know glasses in there I said no um, but I guess she couldn't hear me and so she hi staring when I opened the door and I said no they're not in here she was just like staring at me like she wanted to come in and look for herself and uh, the lady who lost the glasses she was kind of standing back and she's like no look behind the there's a stool in there she was saying maybe behind the stool and so I looked behind there and I said no and then I offered them to come in and look because they were just standing there staring <laughs> as if they wanted me to come out so they could search <laughs> you know like they were police or something they can search my bags and all that. That's, that's how the, the stance they had, you know? I'm like, lady, I don't have your glasses. And I started to make them apologize to me because she wasn't even in that room. They found them in another dressing room. And she was up at the, when she was up at the counter paying for whatever she got, the sales associate came running out. She said, you weren't even in that room. And then I was standing there going, <laughs> you know like are you gonna apologize she didn't <sighs> let me get on back home I'm over here on the wrong side of the tracks <laughs> here I'm not supposed to be over here <laughs> morning I didn't go walking yesterday or today I was, I was intentionally taking a break yesterday and I, my plan was to go today however like right now it is 7 30 and I have my book club this morning at 9 it's actually 9 30 but I want to be there by 9 so I'm um, up I decided not to go so I could stay back and color my hair because the grays, the grays, the grays, <laughs> they were just out of control. So I'm like, let me get up, get that done. Today I have my book club and then later on today, I'm going to an event at Neiman's. 
uh, my essay sent me the invitation to come tell you like I was a bath taker and I never had any problems like with yeast infections or anything like that but child like I watched um I think her name here on YouTube is the soft nurse brand and or the soft nurse or something like that and she said it <laughs> out of her mouth she said um, she wouldn't suggest that you take a bath and just soak in the bath in, you know, your own filth and all, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. She said she wouldn't suggest that you do that, that you shower first before actually soaking in the tub. And um, it seemed like as soon as she said that and I took a bath, I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> what, what is happening? But what you won't get me to do <laughs> is, is soak in that tub. I don't know if even the shower will help. <laughs> Maybe I'll take my shower and then just sit in the tub. I guess that's what she was suggesting. I ran some water in the tub today just so that I could sit on the side of it and shave my legs. So that's that. Um, and then I'm going to get ready to go. I'll come back on here when I'm getting dressed. Okay, so this is my outfit for the day. I'm probably going to like do a half tuck or something like this on my t-shirt but this shirt is part of the sublime line from urban outfitters i've had this for a while uh, i know they have it in white i think white and probably some other colors by now this is an old color um i put on my hermes dupe from amazon it's on my amazon storefront my hat that i got from aloe and my LV Louise earrings. Um, I know this mirror is super, super little. Sorry guys, this is why I wanted to get a bigger mirror for this bathroom. Um, so we could do some outfits of the day up here. This skirt is from Target and it has the little shorts underneath. I won't pull it up, but it has shorts underneath. And then I put on my New Balance um, sneakers and I also tied this cute little green um, bandana I had it on yesterday but I, I tied it around my ankle today just because it has the shirt has a little bit of that color in it and I'm carrying my Prada backpack my fragrance for the day is this oh this Amo decor um, by Lakeeds Imagineers so this is my outfit of the day. I'm getting ready to go to the book club. We're going to discuss the garden within and um, I'll probably take you guys with me. Let me grab this tripod. I'll take you guys with me. House of Francis Curzon, before Maison Francis Curzon. Now, before we go ahead and get started, I want you to look towards a stranger and introduce yourself. This is a little icebreaker. Say hello to your neighbor. Um, 
now has Alzheimer's uh, dementia. Mm -hmm. So I'm a caregiver for her, and it's always important for me to keep her laced with a fragrance. Absolutely. I think that will do something for her. But what it does for me is takes me back to the time when I was laying in her lap or, you know, in her arms or something like that where I would smell her fragrance. Absolutely. And it just, you know, it does something for me. Oh, you really enjoy it. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. The EDP has a 24% oil concentration. We came over to Morgan's job and she had her heels on. She she put her big heels on for today. <laughs> and now we had to walk to the other side of the mall to have lunch with her. So Tierra switched shoes with her. That was so cute. Her big sister saved the day. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha